After the first year since establishment, saltbush is a very hardy plant and can take quite hard grazing. The first grazing has got to be well managed, but as, as it matures you can graze it to, um, to around about 15-20% of leaf area remaining. And I'm talking here mainly about old man saltbush uh, and river saltbush. They recover quite well from grazing. As far as time of grazing, depends very much on how you want to graze it. But in our particular situation, we tend to use it in the springtime and uh, the sheep will eat saltbush even when there's green grass around. Uh, but what we're trying to do is stop our inter row species, our perennials getting too rank and out of control. So if we graze them in the spring, towards you know, mid-spring to, to late spring, and then remove the sheep, the inter row species will grow up to a point where they're still palatable to the sheep during the summer. And then the salt bush recovers very well. Uh, we then graze again towards the end of autumn to fill that autumn feed gap, which cuts down in our feeding. Uh, and the other time is uh, they, these areas can be used as confinement feeding areas during times of a very late start or during drought. Uh, they're very resilient to wind erosion simply because of the nature of the plants that are on there. This does have an impact on the longevity of the stand, but that's a decision each grower has to make. Do you want longevity of your stand or save having to sell livestock? Or do you want to save the rest of your farm from wind erosion? So it's a very handy tool for confinement feeding.